Hi everybody, it's Andrew from Launch27, and in this video, I'll show you how to create staff users. So first off, what is a staff user? A staff user is the person that works in your back office that helps you run your business. They are the ones that manage appointments, help customers out with customer support. Um, they can edit your services and your pricing, um, your discount codes, uh, help manage your team users, uh, the ones that the people that go out to work, your staff can create uh, more team users and dispatch them and do all that stuff. They can edit your email templates. Um, pretty much everything in, in the system your staff can do. Now, a big difference is, is that there are different permission levels, which we call roles, on what on different staff can do. And I'll show you all that next when I show you how to create a staff user. So click on settings here. Now go to the people section here, click on office staff and click the add new button. So everything I explained just now is what a normal staff can do, but you have two other roles. Now the technical admin role is somebody that can do everything that a normal staff user can do except they can also create other staff users. So they can grant uh, people access to your account, other staff users access to your account. And um, the next role, which is the role that the owner of the account, of the account has, is uh, the highest permission role. It's called the admin role. And they can do everything that the other two roles can do, except they can charge credit cards, they can look at revenue reports and look at the dashboard, uh, the revenue dashboard, and um, control account settings. So all the important stuff, we only let the admin do, meaning anything that deals with money or viewing uh, financial information or um, managing the, the, the account settings because those can have serious impacts on your business, so we only let the admin do it. And... Um, so right now, for demonstration purposes, I'll just create a regular staff user. I'll call them staff user, sorry. And if you click on Mark is confirmed and send welcome email, this will basically send a welcome email with a link for that person to confirm their account. Uh, I mean, to create a password for their account, sorry. so. They click a link and they can go create a password and log in. And I'll just set whatever as the address and click save. And here's your staff user. So in the event that you need to fire this person's staff user to, or you don't want them to be able to log into your uh, Launch27 account anymore, you can just go here and click archive and this will lock them out. They won't be able to log in and do anything anymore. And if you ever change your mind, you can go to view the archived accounts here. Find this guy, staff user two, and you can say you want to unarchive it. And it will go back to being an active user and they can log into their account. One last thing I'm going to show you is how to edit a staff user. To do that, you just want to click on their name right here. And you can just change whatever information you want. I'll change my staff's name to Andrew Staff 2. And I will make them an admin. And just click Save Changes. If I go back to my main page, you'll see that uh, the name is now Andrew Staff 2. And I am now an admin. So if you have any more questions, please let us know at support at launch27.com. Thanks.